Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, thanks to Andre Sloan, we are going to explore the lengthy criminal history of one Joey Surreal Camera. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, what I have found on Mr. Joey's Surreal Camera, Joel Christian Lopez, is a at least a 24-year criminal history. I think if you coupled that with the fact that he's had at least 21 arrests, at least 28 charges, 13 of those being felonies, and he's been convicted 12 times, I think you could say that Joey Surreal Camera is a career criminal. I just can't understand that he's never seen the inside of a prison cell. You know, that doesn't surprise me one bit that uh, he hasn't served time in a Florida prison because in the past few years, I've met a few people who are career criminals and they've let me in on a few things that, well, we'll let you think about the justice system here in Florida. They're always willing, more willing to go after the bigger fish and let the smaller fish go. In other words, if you're a snitch, they'll most certainly... Uh, Get all the information out you can and let you go. So Joey must be a very small fish and not worth anything to anybody else. But he must know people that he's, uh, well, sent down the river, that's for sure. So this guy's probably, definitely a snitch. And when we detail his criminal history here, you're going to wonder yourself, how the hell did Joey stay out of prison? I mean, he's done a couple of jail stints, but if he's done prison time, I wasn't able to find it because he used an alias while he was in prison. But first, let's take a look at some pictures of Joey, some uh, mug shots from over the years, and uh, show you how the hard life of drugs and running the streets uh, it really did a toll on uh, Joey's face. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's our first mugshot of Joel Lopez. He was 28 years old uh, back on 4-30-2009. Now, we know this isn't his first mugshot because his criminal history goes back, you know, at least 10 years before that. But this is the first one I could find of him. A little domestic violence here on uh, Joel's part. Battery, touch, or strike. So, he's a woman beater, too. Hey, honey, boo-boo, are you paying attention to this? Because this is the kind of guy that you want to stay away from in most cases. Well, in your case in particular, because you don't seem like the uh, fighting type. I mean, what if this guy decides to do something to you? What are you going to do about it? And to think you want to take a plane ride to see this Cool. And here's Joel 13 months later on May 24th, 2010, where he was arrested for possessing drugs. He had less than 20 grams of cannabis, a.k.a. the wacky weed, on his body. And here we are just a couple months later in July of 2010, when Joel was arrested for selling uh, uh, controlled substances. He's uh, starting to look a little harsher there. Oh, say it isn't so, Joey, that you uh, were selling controlled substances. Oh, we all thought you were a choir boy. Not. Now, I can't believe that Joel behaved himself for five years, but his next mugshot that I can find is from uh, June 18th, 2015, where Joel was arrested for grand theft, $300, but less than $5,000. And that was a larceny charge that he had there. I think his hair is looking a little greasy there, like maybe he needs to wash it. And here's Joel in uh, June 22nd, 2016, where he was arrested for uh, possession of cocaine and possession of drug equipment. 
His hair's looking even more greasy in this picture. I, I don't know. Well, boys and girls, this is uh, the kind of dude that your dare officer uh, let you know about back in the 80s. The kind of guy that would come up onto a school and sell you some, oh, angel dust or something like that. So take a good look at this kind of dude right here because this is the one that you don't want your children hanging around with. And here is Joel in January of 2017 looking pretty stoned. And it says he was arrested for possessing cocaine again. And here we go, just nine months later, in October of 2017. Look at Joel with sporting that uh, fancy cut and looking beard there. Uh, let's see, he was arrested for fugitive from justice uh, from Lee County, Florida. And we've also got a violation of uh, state parole, or probation, I'm sorry, for possession of cocaine. Uh, Cocana, he likes his cocaine. Here is Joel, just four days later, arrested on a probation violation. Um, it doesn't say what for, just says uh, felony, misdemeanor, juvenile, non-criteria. <laughs> And four months later, in February of 2018, Joel was arrested for violation of park rules and a probation violation. Looking a little more harsh there, isn't he? And our next mugshot shows uh, Joey with a shaved head. Uh, he's looking a lot worse for wear there. So in May of 2019, he was arrested for possessing drug equipment. And he was arrested for uh, possession of a controlled substance without a prescription. I would say Joey's got a drug problem. And our next mugshot photo is from October of 2020. Joey's arrested again for possession of drugs, a controlled substance without a prescription, and possession of a controlled substance, just drug possession. And uh, Joey's looking, he's looking pretty harsh there. Oh, don't tell me that our little choir boy, Joey, did all that. Now, it's unbelievable. How could you do this, Joey? Come on, let us know what is in your heart, please. Two years later, Joey shows up again in uh, November of 2022, 1124. Isn't that like the day before Thanksgiving or something? And we have two charges of resisting an officer or obstructing an officer without violence. And Joey's looking a little old there. And uh, now we got a bunch of tattoos on our neck, I see. And then, just two months later, he was picked up in Cape Coral, Florida. He was arrested in January of 2023 for resisting an officer without violence again. And we know uh, Joey's been arrested, I think, at least four more times in 2023. But we're going to go over that when we talk about his criminal history in just a minute here. I just wanted to show you from beginning to end uh, how 24 years... Of oh, Cape Coral, Florida, huh? Oh, I wonder who else is there. Could it be a family relation? Maybe the one that gave birth to you. Oh, I bet she's real proud of you. But then again, I've known mothers who are willing to protect their sons no matter how many crimes they commit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over Joey's criminal history, which I have made into a list here because trying to read it uh, from the uh, from the actual screen of uh, each individual case, I am not sure how to do that. So that's why I did it this way. Okay, now we're just going to end it right here because... Well, this is a rather lengthy part of the video anyway, so you guys can just pause it and read it from here on out. I mean, it is amazingly stupid how many uh, crimes this guy has committed throughout his life. I mean, well, well, wonders never cease that this guy has never been in prison. Maybe he has, like he said, Maybe there's a hidden record around there somewhere that indicates that he is. But uh, as far as we know, probably not. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.